So you guys know that I think a lot about my health and I'm constantly trying to optimize this. And I wanted to do a video about cooking fats and my favorite cooking fat, the only cooking fat that I use, my number one cooking fat, because I think that a lot of us get this wrong. So what's the problem here? You have a stainless steel pan, hopefully, uh, which can double as a home defense weapon. I'm not a fan of violence, I'm anti-violence, but if you needed to, this is a good home defense tool. But you can also cook in this if you so choose to do, which means you're gonna heat the pan. And once the pan is hot and you're gonna cook vegetables, if you're of the persuasion of vegetables, or you're gonna cook a steak, or maybe even some liver in the pan, what kind of fat do you put in there? Olive oil, wrong. You don't wanna cook with olive oil. Olive oil may be a healthy fat if it's organic, in cold press, single source, in glass. But if you heat olive oil, you're gonna lose any potential benefits. My favorite cooking fat is, drum roll please, tallow. Tallow is rendered beef fat. I didn't even know what tallow was until I was probably 30 or 40 years old. Tallow is rendered beef fat, which means you take the fat from a cow, the trim, the kidney fat, which is high in stearic acid, and you put it in a kettle and you render it and you end up with tallow. Why would you want to use tallow in your pan to cook with? This is important, pay attention. Smoke point has nothing to do with how stable an oil is in the pan. A lot of us have been misled into thinking that some seed oils or refined oils are okay to use in a pan to heat because they have a higher smoke point. This is bollocks. This is baloney. B-O-L-O-G-N-A, baloney. Smoke point means nothing when it comes to the stability of an oil in a pan when you're heating it. What you wanna think about is peroxidation index. How easily will the oil that you put in a pan peroxidize, oxidize, basically become rusted and broken when you're heating it. That is where tallow is king and tallow really, really shines. When it comes to cooking fats and fats in general, you want a fat with a very low peroxidation index and tallow has a very low peroxidation index because it has very low amounts of linoleic acid, polyunsaturated fatty acids in general, very low in tallow. What does tallow contain? It's about half monounsaturated fats things like oleic acid, which is found in olive oil, and about half, a little less than half, saturated fats. Things like stearic acid, palmitic acid, this kind of stuff. And that's important because the more highly saturated the fat is, the more stable it is, it's gonna be solid at room temperature. You can see the amazing color of this tallow. It's like a yellow because the cows are eating grass. When a fat is solid at room temperature, it means it's more saturated, which means it's more stable when you heat it. What do we know about unsaturated fats? When you heat unsaturated fats, they break down, they become oxidized, peroxidation happens. When you eat fats that are oxidized, it's hard for your body to deal with these things. It damages membranes, you get more oxidized LDL. This has been shown in multiple randomized, controlled human trials with seed oils. If you eat seed oils versus something like tallow, you're gonna have more oxidized LDL. Bad news, guys, do not heat seed oils. Do not even heat olive oil. If you need to heat something, use a stable fat like this tallow. So tallow is rendered beef fat. And because it comes from cows, preferably cows that are eating grass, it's full of good nutrients for humans. What kind of nutrients? Tallow actually contains fat-soluble vitamins. Things like vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K2, consistently associated with improved cardiovascular outcomes in trials like the Rotterdam trial. And yes, you can get a form of vitamin K2 from eating things like natto, but who is actually eating fermented soybeans? And the form in animal foods is different than the form in plant foods. We're talking about MK7 versus MK4. So I strongly believe the form of vitamin K2 found in things like tallow and animal foods is a superior form. There's still more research to be done there, but I think it's better to get your vitamin K from animal fats. And it's in here. And tallow contains a little bit of vitamin D because it's an animal fat and animal fats generally contain vitamin D3, et cetera. So fat soluble vitamins in tallow. What else is in tallow? Stearic acid, 18 carbon, saturated fat, and even in human studies like this in vivo study published in Nature Communications, you see improvements in mitochondrial function with stearic acid. So I think there's a good amount of evidence to suggest that this 18 carbon saturated fat stearic acid is healthy for humans. In epidemiologic studies, it's consistently associated with lower body mass, more leanness, and improved cardiovascular outcomes, lower rates of diabetes, metabolic dysfunction. So stearic acid, probably one of the best sources is tallow. You can also find stearic acid in cocoa butter, but tallow is better to cook with than cocoa butter. I don't know anybody that cooks with cocoa butter. Transmucinic acid, TVA, there recently was a study published in the journal Nature showing that transmucinic acid might be anti-cancer. The last line of the abstract basically said, I'm paraphrasing, 
we need to study this more because it might help us fight cancer. It reprograms CD8 positive T cells to be anti-tumor. That's really cool. And that nutrient is only found in animal foods. Boom, like tallow. What else is found in tallow? Conjugated linoleic acid, not to be confused with regular linoleic acid, Conjugated linoleic acid found in small amounts, but effective amounts in things like beef fat is very strongly seen in the literature to be correlated with leanness and potentially ease of weight loss in humans. We don't exactly understand the mechanism here. Potentially conjugated linoleic acid has some sort of a hormonal effect in humans, but conjugated linoleic acid found in animal fats like beef tallow or dairy fat, healthy for humans. Again, it's in here. Last thing I wanna tell you about tallow is the odd chain fatty acids. C15 and C17. You ready for this? Pentadecanoic acid and heptadecanoic acid. There will be a quiz later. Those are also consistently associated in terms of blood levels with improved outcomes in humans. And where are they found? Dairy fat and tallow. So many reasons that I prefer tallow as a cooking fat. And then it comes to sourcing. So where do you want the cows to be raised that are making your tallow? Well, I want those cows to be grass fed I don't wanna eat fat or rendered fat from a cow that's eating grains because those grains are probably sprayed with glyphosate, so there could be pesticides in the fat. So I want a tallow that's 100% grass-fed, grass-finished, or generatively raised. That's where cows are rotationally grazed. And I don't want anyone to use solvents or any of that weird stuff when they're making the tallow. So those are all the things that I think about when I'm looking for a tallow. And again, I think this is the best cooking fat you're gonna find. So many reasons, so many nutrients in this that make it a healthy fat for humans. Despite what you may have been told, I want to challenge those assumptions. Harvard, I'm coming for you. Canola oil is not healthier than tallow. Harvard, you've got it all wrong. And Mayo Clinic too, you're, you're off your rocker. At this point in my life, I'm really happy to be able to create things that help you guys live better and to create the best quality products that you may want to use in your lives. You guys know at Lineage, we make things like beef sticks and our all-in-one protein powder. And now I'm really excited to say that we've also created what I believe is the best tallow on the planet. One of the things that I'm most proud about with this tallow is the sourcing. So we source from 100% grass-fed, grass-finished cattle on regenerative farms in Australia. I actually went to Australia to see these farms and they are the best farms I've ever seen in my life. The cows are incredibly happy. They're grazing on multi-million dollar real estate, overlooking the ocean, looking out to Tasmania. Some of the farms are on Tasmania and that's where the tallow is coming from. These cows are incredibly well-fed. They're eating the greenest grass, the most nutrient-rich soils no pesticides on that soil at all. And you can tell, I mean, look at the color of this tallow compared to any other tallow on the market. This is the most orange tallow I've ever seen, which is reflective of the beta carotene and the fat coming from the grass and all the other good nutrients that are coming with it. So I'm really, really proud of the source in this tallow. And I think that when you see the color of this, when you see the texture and you see the taste, you're gonna agree that this is by far the best tallow in the world. And as a bonus, tallow can be used for more than just cooking. I mean. One of the trends on the internet now that I think is really cool is using tallow for skincare. So you can take a dollop of this tallow, put it in your pan if you want as a cooking oil, but you can also put some tallow on your finger, spread it on your face, and it is absorbed in the skin. It is non-comedogenic, which means it doesn't make zits or acne. It's actually very good for the skin. Tallow contains all of these fat-soluble vitamins, which we know are healthy for humans. I put tallow on my skin like this every day especially when I'm out in the sun in Costa Rica or when I'm in places in the world where the air is drier than Costa Rica. So beef tallow skincare, it's a thing guys. That's an added bonus to this. And I made a special discount code for you guys. I'll put it down below in the description. I hope you'll check out our new grass fed, grass finished, regeneratively raised tallow from Lineage, lineageprovisions.com. I'm really proud of this. Like I said, the sourcing, the quality, the texture, the taste, where it's coming from, you can see it in the color. I really think tallow is an incredible cooking fat. It makes your cooking so much healthier. You're not oxidizing olive oils. Hopefully you're not using seed oils at all. It's just such a good fat to have in your life in your kitchen. And I use it every day. That's why I wanted to make something better than what was out there. So check us out, guys. Let me know what you think about this. I'm really proud of our new tallow and I'm excited to share it with you.